Hello guys, I am Bijit Thapa and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I posted my last tutorial video on how to create simple C-Sharp desktop application. Uh, so today I am going to show you how to insert, update and delete data in database in PHP and MySQL database. Uh, since a newer version of Apache and PHP do not support MySQL extension, I will be using MySQLi. Uh, so MySQL is uh, improved version of MySQL. So let's move to our tutorial video. First of all, make sure that your Apache server and MySQL database is up and running. Uh, if you are using uh, Windows, you can use XAMPP. If you are using Linux, you can use XAMPP. Or you can, if you are using uh, Mac, then you can use MAMP. If you haven't installed any of these, then you can uh, download XAMPP. I will put the link to download XAMPP in my description below so I'll start my Apache server and MySQL so my Apache server and MySQL database is up and running then I'll create a root folder or project folder in my in my local DXC where I have installed my XAMPP so double click and I have installed XAMPP on local DXC so I will go to XAMPP and stdocs and create a new folder here I'll give its name test and to do this project I'll be using a text editor called PHP designer 8 you can use any text editor like notepad plus plus or sublime text so I'll go I'll open my text editor and link my project folder in my text editor so this is PHP designer 8 so I will just link my project so go to right click on personal project and new and link to local folder then PC then local Dixie then XAMPP then stdocs then test test ok I have linked my project in my text editor so I will just create a new file that will be this file and I will create a file called index.php so first of all I will just design um, design UI for my project it will be a simple design where we will uh, insert uh, first name and last name and then show it uh, in the same file to edit uh, the data we will create a new file so let's create a HTML document doc type html then html head title insert update and delete in php and mask qli then body the header class header delete then division I give it class main so adding I'll write inside as to as to tag last name then as as to listing all the names and then footer footer all rights reserved and copy and copy 
widget apa so let's look how our HTML file looks like so just go to the browser I'm using Chrome browser so let's localhost 18 I have changed the port uh, port in my jam if you haven't changed your port then it will be just localhost slash your file that is folder test test I have changed the port so I will have to give colon 81 so this is how our project looks like so just let's give a little bit of styling for this I'll go to my text editor and here I will write the CSS to my project this is the internal CSS first of all let's header give the CSS for header that is I will make its background background color will be black and its font color font color will be white and padding I'll give padding of 1% on all side then I'll just align the text to center so let's look how our header looks like so this is our header and it looks nice let's design others too we have it has its default margin uh, so it is blank inside so I will just change its default margin to 0 to change the default margin I will just put asterisk then margin 0 so now it has removed the default margin and padding I will apply the same CSS to the footer so I will just copy it and paste and change the header to footer so our header and footer looks like this now we need to apply CSS for our main content dot main I'll give its width to 80% eighty percent then border I'll give border of one pixel solid black so let's look how it's look so it's up to here but I need it's in I need this division in center and I'll apply some margin on top and bottom so margin top to 1% and left and right is auto so it will it will be on center so this is how it looks let's give it a bit of padding I'll give 3% padding on one side so now it looks beautiful let's create a form to insert our first name and last name let's go to the main section here I'll create a form tag it method will be post and action will be just leave blank for now I will specify a file for that so here I'll create a table then tr first name last name no I have to insert input type here input type text name is equal to name thus I will copy this tr for last name copy it and paste it here 
So I'll change it is first to last first to name I'll make another row tr so t td td I'll leave it blank so nvsp nvsp gives a uh, space on this column so again I will create an input type submit button submit its name will be submit and its value will be add be add member so let's look how our input form input form looks like this is how our input form looks like so uh, to list all the names oh, I will create another table yeah, I will just break it and SR for horizontal line. So SR gives this horizontal line again BR for a little bit spacing. So it has now it, it looks nice. Let's create another table to display all the details here. TH it is table heading so SN SN means serial number then th first name last name and actions in this column there will be update and delete button for now let's fill uh, dummy data later we will select all the data from database so th1 then to add my name pc then tapa here we will have two buttons to update and delete so just give a link and this here create a button type button update and has type button delete let's look how our table looks like this is how our table looks like let's give some uh, border so it will be separated instead of two ts i should have given td so it, it will not be bold it will be regular so it's now regular this is bold th means table heading ready means table data so table data is regular and table heading is bold let's give some border on all side I will go to header and inside the style style tag table 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 tr and th and td just give border one pixel solid black so this is how our table looks like there's a spacing between each cells but but i do not want the space between cells so i'll just merge it by border dash collapse collapse so now it looks fine it looks beautiful then i'll give padding one percent okay okay this is nice okay so we do not have anything here so I'll just uh, put a placeholder here so let's go to the let's go to my first name input type 
placeholder first name again last name placeholder last name so we can see first name and last name here so this is it for uh, for adding and listing all the data so we uh, to create to edit or uh, to update our name I will I will create another form for this I will create new file and edit dot PSP rename I just missed dot so this is it so I'll just double click and copy all copy all and paste it in here so I, d I will not uh, need to list all the database uh, all the members from our database so I'll just delete this and I'll just leave a form adding not f updating and change my heading to adding first name first and last name to updating first and last name so this is it so we have designed our edit page to edit.psp so this is our, our I will change the input type submit buttons name to update member so this is how our update page looks like so when we click on update button from our home page it will come to this file uh, and the first name will be displayed here and last name will be displayed here if when we change make change to our first name and last name and click on update our first name and last name will be updated and redirect to home page for now let's just move to our home page so in this episode we have designed a form to add our first name and last name and display uh, it in our table uh, we also designed an uh, update form to update our first name and last name in, in the next episode we will create a functionality to add our first name and last name and insert it into our database so thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe see you next time bye bye